know with Ibugi coming around the corner. And I always said that BMG peaked with Jae Yun as far as great sword characters go. Yeah. It's just like, they just cover each other so perfectly, the two different weapons, right? So like, everything Rates, Great Sword does is reactable to some degree, but Dash up and Light on Sword, good luck. I good think luck. Well, I think people are going to be moving to Mugi very quickly unless there is like a glaring weakness that he has. Um, I think people are going to be really excited for that. Moonier though, probably not one of them. Uh, maybe oh, he, uh, he's that was a certainly feeling better here, but all of a sudden he's going to have to be careful. Wow, what nice. the Dare Why did that Dare Nair not make a contact? Oh. Wow, good spot dodge from Moneyhala as well. I mean, Moneyhala's defense is actually yep. OD. I'm like, whoa. The way this dude is moving, the way he doesn't get hit by that stair there dude, as well. He wants the down air so bad. Ooh. Oh, the stomp does not connect to the uh, the down air there. And there it is. You get hit by the 20 frame startup, but because you're down airing so much, they're expecting you to be at a yeah. specific spacing, and then and you get taken out. It does. It's like it, it's painfully slow, but because it's painfully slow, that also gives it a, a bonus. It's like pro and a yes. con. Yes. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Nice zip. Dash lane onto to the stage there. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. That's going to be a clean hit there. That's actually something I think I saw in like maybe like an old Boomy or Sandstorm video where they would like burn their dodge on purpose so that when they wanted to snap onto the stage, they could just mash the dodge button over and over. Oh, and then the moment really you get smart. over the lip, you can't, since you can't dodge, you're not going to do it. You're only going to dash yeah. land and then that, you're just able to zip on like that. That's really smart. Now, of course, you have to spend your dodge, so is it? But like, situations like that makes it a lot easier to have to get the manual time. Oh, okay. He's been very conservative so with the signature so far. We saw the sword, a couple sword neutral signatures last game. Now we got the great sword neutral signature this game. So yeah, he's he's bringing in a little bit more, but keeping it unpredictable. Oh, nice. Web throw as well. Oh, nice almost starve. got that pick up there. Oh, that dodge was perfect. Nice oh, he's starve. Hungry. He is hungry. Oh, see, he just, we saw that exact same setup before where he jumps at him and he ends up dodging. He got the recovery last time. This time, Munir was able to avoid it, but Munir, I don't think, has found the legend to deal with this great sword. I wonder if he goes for the ditto. It would be wild, but it seems something Munir would do. It could be a salty pick for sure, especially if he goes down 0-2. Especially if this is like a two stock here, he might go for it. Ooh. Munir can't touch him. Oh, Money Hollow playing relatively safe. I think he probably meant to do the D-Light in the other direction. Or maybe he hoped that he could pick it up pretty stacked and then send over to the left side of the blast zone. Oh, Money Hollow is fishing for this final blow here. Nose is within reach. Can even start throwing out some NSYNC if you want. That jump turn around side air, nice. the weapon throw. Munir won't be able to get back here. Do you like Ramhound? No, he gets hit by the unarmed recovery, but it doesn't matter. Money Hollow closes out yet another. I don't. I don't know what Munir does here. I, I think Munir's like approach is generally like, oh, that didn't work. Let me try something else. And then like we've actually seen this exact same position before, where it's like, oh man, Munir is down by a lot. I don't think he's gonna. And then he like picks the right legend, yeah. and then it's just like, oh, okay. Well, I guess Munir's just winning now. But I don't know if that's gonna happen here. Money Hall looks too solid. Yeah, he hasn't been able to really find any way in on the Great Sword, and Money Hall has done a great job of like relying on the Great Sword. And then when he has Sword in his hand, like it's also fine too. It's not like the old days of like Kosalix, back when he really had to be on lands. Yeah. And if he was playing Scarlet and he got the hammer, it was like I gotta get this out of my hands ASAP, Rocky. But no, he's doing a great job of staying on the Thank Great God. Sword and safely staying on the Great Sword and not getting like locked into this. Oh, if I have Sword in my hand, I, it's 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 over for me. I'm just happy that we're not on Small World's End anymore. Because I was like, why did you keep letting the Great Sword go to the flat stage? Yeah. You know, like just, just circle camp the platform if you need to, buy yourself some time, make it not so easy to figure out how you're going to land because there's only one place to go. Granted, is it going to be the difference? I don't know, but I think it should help. He might have hoped that he could get a little bit cheeky with Taros and steal some stocks early on in Same Orange. thing with Petra, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice anti air from Moonair. Oh, the juggle game. Okay, want him to fall on top. Oh, that sick is so good. It's an interesting choice there because, I mean, certainly I was expecting the delay recovery to come out, so I'm not going to be matching my dodge there because, like, what's the point? It's a combo. But going for the neutral stick there, again, changing things up here and there, incorporating those signatures just to keep Moonier guessing. Nice. Good patience from Moonier. Weapon throw nice. to secure the KO, and that's going to be it. Moonier staying alive here. Hopefully going to be able to force the game four, but Money Hala needs a weapon. Dash side light. Yep, get that guaranteed. Oh, but messed up the input there. Did not want that end light. Wanted another side light for certain there. Oh, this is such an awkward one to play. Oh, interesting. All right. Huge punish. You love getting those side airs from here. Oh, 3D 
release. He was looking for the reset. Ah. Okay, nice recovery. There is a weapon spawn on the field. Oh. Like, weird, there is a way. Oh, oh no. What's, what's happening? Moonir got the perfect wake up with the stomp, did not get the jump input on the side air, and then it meant that Money Hala got a free guaranteed three piece string there. He actually goes, I think, for the sidelight finisher too, to get that extra juice. I don't think the headlight finisher would have KO'd there, but you know, I don't think Moonir's mashing jump in that situation. Yeah. Nice spacing though on that like max range stomp side air there to get the like, stock away from Moonir. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was crazy. I think if, if Money Hall had like maybe 30 to 40 damage on, we could have seen the end of that stock pretty quickly. Would have sent him I like much the high further. toss. Oh, hold on. This is the thing about Moonir, right? Where it's like, what happened? I, I can't even believe he got that stomp side air so close inside. You could D like ground pound that, but it's so hard to go out there against the great sword. Good, and just nice. side light jump recovery. Moonir. Woke up. This always happens on game three. It's just like he starts going for these plays that just like most people can't conceive of, you know, and they get caught in like the flashbang of it. Yeah. And then just like, what? And then the stock's just gone. That stomp cider that you pointed out, that was an interesting one uh, because a lot of people would go for a stomp dare there, one, because it's stacked. Mm -hmm. I, I, in general, I disagree with that because almost every spot where you can hit a stomp, uh, a stomp dare, Three, you can also two, hit a stomp cider. Like it's, it, it, there's it, like an elbow it's like hit one box. pixel yeah. difference where you won't hit the side air. Uh, but in that position, he was up on the left side soft platform. So I don't, I, I don't know what the best option was, whether it's a side air, because the platform was on the left side, so it favors the left blast zone, but also it's elevated off the ground. So he could have gone for a stomp there, could have gone for a stomp there. I, I truly don't know what the most optimal choice is. Oh, jeez. This is not the best start oh, for here, here, though. Wow. I, I was, yeah, I'm, look, everybody, chat, Flambo, I'm sorry. I was I was so excited about what the, the stomp side air that I, I, we just let that happen. That was my fault. I mean, we my didn't fault. let that happen. Moonier let that happen. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Paul, I'm not taking responsibility for that one. And now Money Hall is right back in the driver's seat. And, and Moonier even, like, trying to play a little bit more patient, I think a little bit frustrated, unable to hit this great sword. And honestly, I, I, unless your name is Kaina, I'm never trying to go hammer to gray sword. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's just too awkward and hard of a matchup. You have to be like so peak of a hammer player and not to throw shade at Moonier, but just there's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You you have to be like the best hammer player in the entire world. To be able to oh. That. oh ho, ho. This is looking tough for Moonier. Now down 2 1 in the set, down a 3 oh. or 1 3 technically if you're looking at Moonier's POV. Oh. He needs a hail oh, mary. That's a three piece. Here. And the three side piece air, all the are not oh. elbow. Yeah, no, Moonir. If, if Moonir needs like a uh, tarot side sig or something that KOs right now into like uh, a quick. Oh, jeez. Okay. The wake up's cool. Moonir is not afraid to wake up. He did that a lot in the Spring Royale as well. But Money Hala is just playing way too solid right now. I mean, one more three piece and that's game. And at this point, you can start fishing for N sigs if you want. Recovery's not going to be enough. Ooh, one more will. One more for sure. He's just going to keep sidelighting until he gets to dodge, and Moonir's probably never going to dodge. And then we might even just see the, the raw sidelight, sidelight. <laughs> you know, and that's something you can throw out there. D-light recovery, maybe even. There it is. Yeah. He got it just like that. Utter Destruction is absolutely correct. Thank you, Video Game, for that. Uh, the three stock on the final game. Uh, Moonir just doesn't know how to deal with that great sword. Yep. Uh, I just... Y y I don't think he knows how to deal with Greatsword right now. I don't know yeah. if it's just a today thing or if it's a Greatsword thing or if he maybe needs to swap to a different legend.